that is Brent Boyd, a guard center. I suffered at least 200 concussions in, in my career. I'm 56 now. At age 49, I was diagnosed with early dementia, early Alzheimer's. One of the things we've been working on here at PAST are protocols to reverse or lessen the symptoms that are related to post-concussion issues. It's like somebody's just whacking my fucking kneecap. Just whacking it every time my heart beats. Okay. I'm gonna fucking cry. No, you're not gonna cry. You're not gonna cry. Are you warm, Yeah, I'm fucking sweating like a pig. I feel like I am. Just hot. On any given day, you can walk in a past and you can find players that come with a variety of issues. For example, today we have Randy Grimes, who is a 10-year veteran of the NFL, who played center for the Tampa Bay Bucks, just underwent a very painful knee replacement, who is in recovery, and we're trying to get his pain in control, and we can't because of his addiction history. I am. I'm going to chew through that damn lock into that morphine, and I'm going to put that little sippy straw in there, like a juice box. Lucas, buys time. Downstairs, we have Ray Lucas, who is a quarterback for the New York Jets. And today, Ray's in the peer group with Brad Leggett, who played for a short time in the NFL, and Charlie Brown, who played for the Washington Redskins. Charlie Brown! He was a perennial pro bowler, played in two Super Bowls, and now suffers from really severe post-concussion issues. First of all, thanks for coming today. It's good that we're here to do this in person. Here at PASS, these peer sessions, they share their experiences, they share what's going on with them now. They open up, and it's really a first step to getting them to open up to the rest of the medical team. You know, I help you, get, you get dizzy at all? All the time. They you get guys get dizzy at all? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes. You get those? Well, tremors. Uh, I don't have the tremors, but what oh. I do get, I get tons of stars. I got that this morning. I mean, tons of blue little stars. When well, you say tremors, like, like physically shaking? Yeah, and, and uh, what? Oh, oh, I guess probably maybe a year ago, I, not all the time, but every once in a while, and I, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me? And I don't mean to disrespect, Charlie, but when I listen to you, it scares the shit out of me that I'm 13 years away from sitting where you're sitting, and I'm colorblind from my concussions, you know? I, I do have the migraine headaches, and, like, my head is just starting to go. I think that there's a misconception. You hear a lot about, well, gosh, these guys brought it on themselves. They've, you know, pissed away millions of dollars. They've gambled, uh, they've done drugs, and created these conditions that they find themselves in due to their own behaviors. And in most cases, that's simply just not true. It's like you have what's called facet joints. Degenerative process. Once you damage a disc, it starts to degenerate a lot faster. Money doesn't cure the the cluster of significant symptoms that these guys leave the game with. Just take a look at Junior Seau. Then for the rest of our lives, we're going to be dealing with some of this stuff. The injuries don't go away. Their pain doesn't either. I don't know how many surgeries I had since past. Four knee surgeries, you know, fused neck, then another surgery, then another surgery. There's also the fact that the NFL and the NFLPA aren't providing appropriate levels of disability to enough players. They're not providing the type of aftercare that is really needed. You're there, Son. big. You're there, big man. And that's why we're here. You know, we can't get a fucking thing done to help us from the machine that made millions, billions off of us. Why are why are we lost in the shuffle? But I'm gonna say this: in the future, this room ain't big enough for what's going to be coming this way. Ray's a full-blown addict, and that makes it very difficult to troubleshoot pain. Oh. What is enough enough? Fucking read about all these guys who kill themselves. I, I get it. I get it. Players are over-medicated, and that carries on into their life after football. 15 Norco, just to get me out there. <laughs> 